I just got some of these Halloween flickering LED candles from the dollar store. And as usual, they've got the yellow LED that flickers. It's a la really sort of like lurid sodium yellow. It's quite unpleasant, but it's just how they've always done them. So I converted one to warm white non-flickering because, you know, it looks really nice for that. It's, it, the warm white is a more realistic color for the flame and um, it's brighter and it doesn't flicker in that annoying way. The only flickering, which this one's doing right now, is because this one has a particularly crap switch in it. Anyway, I shall turn this off, and uh, this one off as well, and I'll show you how to do the modification. So, turn it off, pop the battery out the back, and this one it's a little lithium button cell. You'll immediately see that one of the leads of the LED is just folded underneath, and that forms the negative connection to the, the battery. Um, I shall pop this out using whatever techniques are needed to do so. This is the, usually the hardest bit, sometimes they glue them in. So the LED, this, this one's unusual. It doesn't have a real switch. It has this horrible little uh, plastic springy metal thing, so that's probably why the other one was flickering a wee bit. So the LED itself, uh, it's designed for mass production, so this, once you've folded that lead down from the battery compartment, this will just pop out. Other ones of these have a real switch, uh, sometimes a resistor, and it's sometimes soldered in. So we'll get another LED. In this case, the negative connection of the LED is going straight down into the battery compartment, so I'll fold the positive connection up, and I'll just compare it to the original LED to put a wee bend at roughly the same position. Let's see if I can mess this up. So that's roughly the same as the other one, and I'll crop that lead off. So the negative goes down through here, and this one, it just wedges behind the switch metal, which is a bit flimsy and yucky. It's not very well made at all. So that's it in, and I'll crop the resistor lead at the back now, just so it can be folded across. And that's it folded now. That also holds the LED in position. And I'll test this by popping the battery back in and flicking the switch and there you go, it's lighting. So I shall now pop this back into its base, which I think it just push fits in, yep. And when I turn it on, yes that's a really crap switch. Uh, when I turn it on, that switch is so crap, um, it will bring the other ones over for comparison and you can see the warm white ones are brighter um, and you know you, you wouldn't think the batteries would last all that long but the batteries seem to last ages because as the battery voltage goes down the LED draws less and less current keep in mind that these are 3 volt button cells and the LEDs themselves are rated a maximum of about 3 volts uh, the warm white LEDs so as the voltage falls, all that will happen is the LED will just get a wee bit dimmer, and as it does so, it will draw less current. So you get a sort of curve of brightness that lasts for days. Um, you could probably come back to one of these after a week of continuous operation and it would still be glowing quite brightly. So um, just a, a little holiday hack.